What's up you guys? Allie here. Today we're going to be making positive affirmation butterfly window hangers. They're going to be really cool. Now, this project requires some supplies that you may not have to make the actual hangers themselves and that's totally okay. You can start by just making the butterfly. That's just as good. They're going to be really fun and really pretty. And yeah, let's get started. Some things you're going to need for this project is some paper, a pencil, scissors, some string, it could be twine or whatever kind of string you have laying around, some beads, a needle, cautiously and safely, and some things to decorate your butterfly with. Now you could use colored pencils, I happen to have glitter glue, you can use crayons, you could use markers, um, anything you have for decorating stickers can totally be useful for this activity. So what I'm going to start by doing is taking my piece of paper and just folding it in half, making sure that it has a crease. And then I'm going to start drawing one half of my butterfly. And because we're doing it this way because butterflies are symmetrical, which means they're the same on both sides. And if we do one side one way, the other side will look symmetrical or the same. So we're going to start by drawing its head and attach to its head is its antenna and then you can draw its wings. The nice thing about a butterfly is butterflies don't all look the same so you can make them any way you want to make her. You can draw its wings rounded or pointy. I'm going to make mine a little bit pointier and then you're going to do the bottom wing or the back wing. The back wing is usually a little bit smaller, but it doesn't have to be. And then you're going to finish by drawing the remainder of its abdomen, which kind of comes down like this. And then from here, you're going to cut along the lines that you drew, and then you're going to have your butterfly and you're going to be able to open it and it's going to be symmetrical on both sides. I'm going to go do that and then I'll be right back. So here is my butterfly cutout. As you can see, I have added the thorax of the butterfly, which is up here in the front of its head by its head. And I've also added its abdomen. These are the two parts that make up the butterfly's midsection. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to start decorating my butterfly. Now, I had mentioned before that it is a symmetrical creature. So, I'm going to do the same thing on this side that I'm going to do on the other side. So, I think I'm going to make the tips of its front wing black. And you can really decorate it any way you want. You can use colored pencils, you can use paint, you can use crayons, um, there's no wrong way to do this, just as long as you are making it as symmetrical as you can. So as you can see, I've started coloring my butterfly in the top wing, I've given it some cool designs, I've made it different colors, I've added some subtle veins up here, and now I'm going to color in the bottom. Now something really cool about butterflies is that they're animals that are really good about going through change. They start in the world as caterpillars and after a cycle of cocooning and turning into a kind of goo and then growing in their cocoon, they come out of it really beautiful and they come out of it as butterflies and then they get to continue their lives pollinating and migrating and exploring and they're just really interesting and really cool insects. Alright, so I finished this side of my butterfly. Now what I'm going to do is open it up and do exactly what I did on the right, on the left the best that I can and then after that we can move on to making it into a window hanger. 
Okay, so here's my butterfly. I made it as symmetrical as I could. And I actually have this really fun glitter glue that I just had laying around that I think I might add to. Um, and then something that I want to add to onto my butterfly is on its wings in the back. I'm going to add just some personal reminders for myself during challenging times that I can forget or um, I might just need throughout the day. So um, on each wing, I'm going to add little different quotes for myself to myself that will help me remember how to stay positive and present and mindful and all those good things that are necessary to get through challenging times. Alright, so here's my butterfly. You can see it has my glitter on it. And then on the back I've added just those positive affirmations for myself. So one wing says, practicing self-care is self-love. The other one says, it's okay not to be okay. The other one says, it's alright to ask for help. And the last one says, I am strong inside and out. So just some reminders for me when I get down or even on good days. These are really good messages to send to yourself, positive messages for yourself. And we get messages all day long from all different kinds of places and people. So positive messages from yourself are just as important or even more important. And what I'm going to do now is get my piece of string. Um, I am using jewelry string that is usually made for making like beaded friendship bracelets. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut it in half. And the first thing I'm going to do is take my beads. I have a couple that I'm going to want to use. Um, I have these really pretty green ones and a clear one or two and some silver ones as you can see and I'm going to just start adding a couple beads here and there to my string so I'm going to take um, one of my silver ones first and I'm just going to string it onto one side of my string and let it fall to the bottom and so it's going to be right in the middle of my string when my string is folded and that's going to be kind of the base for my hanger and then on top of that I'm going to take one of my green beads and instead of just putting my bead through one side of the string, I'm going to put it through both sides of the string so that both ends go through it. And then I'm going to pull it down to the bottom and it's going to stay right on top of where my silver bead was. Now I'm just going to start with those two. What I'm going to do now is make a knot on top so my beads don't fall out. And what that knot is going to look like is you're just going to take your string and your parent or guardian or older sibling can help you with this. I'm just going to overlap my strings like this. And then the part on top is going to go under through the hole. And then I'm going to pull that through. And it's going to give me... A nice little knot right there over my beads. So now that I have the knot, I'm going to make sure it's nice and tight. Looks pretty good. And I'm going to do it one more time. That same knot I showed you last time. You can get practice doing it. And I'm going to try to make this next knot right on top of the knot I just made. And you can kind of guide where your knot 
that is gonna go. All right, so that is what my double knot is gonna look like. So now I'm gonna take one of my green beads and lace it through. All right, so I have my beading on my window hanger here at the bottom. And as you can see, I have two beads here at the bottom. I made that double knot here. And then I added a green bead, a clear bead, and another green bead. And then the next step is to add another knot further up on the string. Now that knot is going to be to hold the butterfly in place. So this part, you might need an adult's help. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your needle and you're going to string it onto your butterfly hanger string. And this is just to help you guide your butterfly onto your hanger. So what you're gonna do is take the needle, you're gonna find a spot on the middle of your butterfly. Um, I might make my hole right here, somewhere in the midsection, a little bit closer up to the top maybe. And I'm going to start on the outside and go into the butterfly. So I'm going to try to make it close to the middle. And then I'm going to pull the needle through. And that needle is going to guide the string through that hole. And once the string is through, you can take the needle out. And you can pull your butterfly to the knot you made over your beads. And this will just hang on your string like that. And you can leave your hanger just like that. If you have more beads, you can add more on top. Um, but this is kind of what the finished product could look like. And what you're going to do from here is see if you maybe have any thumbtacks laying around the house or tape. And you can just go and tape that up by the window and it can just hang there and be really pretty and then have all of those positive affirmations up in the window to remind you of the things you might need to hear throughout the day. Alright guys, so here is my finished butterfly hanger. I hang it up in my window in my kitchen and it's just looking really pretty, hanging out a really nice decoration and yeah I'm very happy with it and I think you'll be very happy with yours as well. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today guys. It was really fun. I hope you enjoyed the activity. If you want more activities from Girls Inc. facilitators you can go to our Girls Inc. Santa Fe YouTube page or any other social media platform. You can find videos there and yeah I look forward to hearing your responses to this and we'll see you for the next video. Bye.